Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. July 5th, <laughs> 1st through the 15th. Um, it's supposed to be a love reading and I laugh because um, it's my third try with you guys. I got into one of them about 10 minutes and then it got totally messed up. Then I started again here about a couple of hours later. I was like, you know what, I'm going to move on to something else. So here I am to do it again, I started in and I messed up again, and here we are again. Third time's a charm, I'm gonna go with it. This is for Sagittarius, July 1st to the 15th, love reading. What do you have for Sagittarius? Uh, when I was deciding who I was gonna do hours ago when I tried your first one, I um, was choosing between you and Virgo, and I couldn't decide. And at first, I thought, you know, I was back and forth. Virgo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Sagittarius. But you guys beat out Virgo somehow, so you got ahead of them. Nice looking card. Now I may pick up some of the aspects that I took from that other reading I started hours ago for you guys and what I saw. What I saw right from the get go was the Eight of Swords. It flew out and it landed right here upright and the Ace of Swords and it just it was crazy. It was the first card it flipped over and it landed right here. That's about being stuck. Okay, I hadn't even really started shuffling yet either. So um, that card is about you being stuck in a situation, you causing your um, isolation. All right, that's about you causing it. I mean, you can choose to move at any time. That card was the first card that came out in the last reading. It landed right here, upright as I was shuffling. Okay, so I figured that's a very strong energy from you for you basically it, the chains that bind you are within yourself the chains that inhibit you not bind you that inhibit you from um this is a love reading from finding your true love our love are within yourself they're in your head okay um which is you know they're in everybody's head so that's nothing different that's nothing new um Something is going on behind the scenes right now as we speak that is, you are not aware of. You are not. Um, something is going on. It's conspiring. <laughs> and this is a love reading. Um, that has to do with love. Okay? It has to do with love. It has to do with a union between two people. Um, it's been conspiring for a while. The universe has been working on it. You've been waiting for it. It's the same old story over and over and over again for you guys. Okay, the reason why it's the same old story over and over and over again is because you are keeping yourself stuck. You haven't made a move. You haven't acted. You know, you haven't done what you needed to do to, to move to the next step. All right, what is the next step? Getting organized is the next step. Step, being true to yourself, all right? Being true to yourself, thinking positively, replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Because let me tell you, like I've told just about all the other signs with this new, uh, this full moon in Capricorn coming right up, you're gonna need to replace every negative thought as quick as it comes into your head with a positive one especially during this time because this Capricorn full moon that comes in on the 9th okay July 9th it comes in but the, the energies are really really strong right before it okay and during it and you know then it starts to fade but right before it they're very strong too here we have the moon okay be careful all right 
because there's potential for fights, there's potential for breakups, there's potential for theft, there's potential for um, <laughs> all kind, anything could happen and people could end up getting seriously, seriously hurt or even, you know, there's going to be murders, there could be wars, look it up, Capricorn, July 9th, full moon, all right, it's a powerful, manipulative energy um, and all the planets come into play and you know and where they are at and blah 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 and all that um, and it's a strong dangerous energy so the best advice that I'm giving my people that I read for is to just keep tight-lipped and get through it as best you can if somebody starts something with you just um, back off that'd be best because you don't know what they have in their back pocket okay so that's the best advice that I can give you with this full moon it is going to be a very intense time for everybody there's not one person that is gonna escape it not even the 99 year old person that isn't expecting it they're gonna feel it everybody is going to feel it there's a lot of sexual energy so there's um, with this full moon because it's in Capricorn all right Capricorn is a very sexual energy you know um, Capricorn is ruled by the devil card so it's about people following their desires this moon and doing whatever they can to get to their desires okay so just beware all right um, so here this is the first to the 15th love reading. This is an unexpected choice in love. I think you've probably seen this one before and you've been waiting for it. Okay? The thing is, is that expected choice is probably, unexpected choice is probably right, right, right there. But I still see that Eight of Swords that popped out. So we'll get, we'll get more on that. This right here is about disorganization and chaos and not, not really knowing okay not really having a plan all right or having a plan and not acting on it just playing with it playing with the plan okay and here um, this is about something becoming clear all right this is an awakening this is a um, a realization of something something it's, it's a breakthrough something is going to finally um, give you the answers that you seek and so this is towards the you know beginning of the first week of July you're gonna get some clarity that you've been but that you have been um, seeking even if it's just some kind of communication or it's a um, some kind of knowledge that you were waiting to hear that you were waiting to help you along your path some kind of um, secret is no longer a secret that's what I'm that's what it is something is going to become known that has been a secret all right and this full moon is gonna is gonna bring it right out because during this time people cannot control their tongues they cannot so who's I mean be careful just be careful um, this is about plan. Okay, this is also a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is a Libra. Um, we have a Gemini down there, and we have a Pisces right here. So it really could be any sign. I mean, so far, we don't have the fire signs. Um, we don't have the cup signs either, or the water signs. Um, you know, we don't have any really definitive signs except for the um, the air signs I mean this could be a Libra but I consider this making a final decision something becoming final that's what I consider this this is towards the end of the first week there's gonna be something that becomes final alright that you have been waiting on alright the full moon is gonna is gonna push it along its way because it's been taking too long this guy comes in super slow guy or gal comes in super super slow so whatever you've been waiting for has been going like a snail's pace and um, 
and find maybe towards the end of the first week there's going to be again this could be clarity but i think it's something final oh so some kind of decision all right you've been waiting on could be pertaining to money i don't know it's supposed to be love reading we're looking for love here i don't really see in this first week anything that that's shooting out to me this is a love reading here we have an ex unexpected choice in love okay unexpected whoever this is um whoever the other person is is not what you expect okay um let's get some more clarifiers definitely yeah definitely have to make some decisions there's definitely somebody somebody's been ignoring something and that's where this clarity comes you know somebody has been ignoring maybe their feelings you know but because this full moon is here they can't ignore them anymore because people can't keep their mouths shut and perhaps you know right now there is a three-way situation or a love triangle and it's just too much and that's where this you know this uh, sadness comes from this sorrow this heartbreak okay perhaps I don't know if it's you or your soulmate is juggling okay is juggling with another person Okay, and somebody's going to become aware of it. It's either you or the other person that is in this card. Okay, because I consider this a soulmate card or a union between two people. And right now, it's only one. Right now, it's only one. This other one wants to come in, but there's still you're still stuck. You're not. You're blocking them. When that Eight of Swords comes up, so you you are the one that's blocking it from happening. Okay. Um, somebody's gonna have a broken heart over this whole deal okay maybe somebody's attached the person that you're interested in is still attached or you're still attached or you're both still attached because here we have two here we have three and here we have three you know and there we have a two and here we have a two I know that's a six but it's two people um, but I just know that somebody might comment and say, well, that's not happening. Yeah, okay, it's two people. Anyway, um, you can't pretend. Something is going to become known. Some secret is going to become known within these two weeks. There's no doubt about it. This full moon is going to help that out. You know, whatever's been hidden is no longer going to be. Okay, and it might cause some conflicts. It might. Could be with a Pisces, could be with an Earth sign. Whatever whatever happens, okay, whatever conflicts it causes, all right, it's going to be okay because this right here is, um, this is prosperity, abundance, stability, and this is a very comfortable home life. Okay, there's this isn't like the tower, so this is great. I mean, whatever these con whatever this full moon brings out, because this is where it's the most intense, and here we're towards the end. Okay, so it starts to calm down again. All right, but here we have some things that are gonna come to light. All right, they are. It's been going on for a while. It has. All right, if something's gonna come to light. There's gonna be probably you know some conflicts. Um, Perhaps with family members. I don't know. Um, so that's why there's not a whole... This is a very mixed up reading. Here we have we have a little bit of could be love. But the only reason it stops right there is because of that eight of swords that jumped out. Could be love. But it's not really love because you're blocking it. You're blocking it. Perhaps you're still attached to somebody or they're still attached. I think it's you. 
And even if you're not physically attached, you're attached to somebody mentally. You haven't actually made the steps towards true love yet, have you? I mean, if you have, you, you, you know, we, this wouldn't be your reading. But the universe wants to help you. I know they do. I've seen it. But you're still not ready yet. And I don't know why you aren't ready. I don't. You're like pretending. You just keep pretending that you're ready. Are you? Why? Why? Are you so scared? This is about fear. You are very, you are. They're in the full moon, there's fear. And there very well should be. <laughs> Especially this full moon. Watch your back. Keep your eyes peeled and your mouth closed. And I will do the same. <laughs> anyway, just, just saying, this is a very powerful full moon. I mean, I'm serious. There could be a war. That's how powerful it is. The energies are going to be so high. And the sex drive, everybody's sex drive is going to be, not everybody, you know, of course there's some people who just don't want to have nothing to do with sex. But the majority of the people are going to have a very high sex drive. I'm just saying. Be careful. Big, uh, strong uh, period of time for people to get pregnant. Very, very. Um... Or to get, you know, taken advantage of because the strong, the urges people are having are so big and uncontrollable, you know. Look at that one. This is it. This is this makes sense. What is this card? Scared. I'm scared. What, are you scared of um, meeting your soulmate and then perhaps they end up rejecting you and you just can't take that? So that's why you're staying stuck? Did I just describe your situation? You absolutely, it's time to make a choice and you need to make it with faith and trust, okay? Faith and trust. Lose the fear. Replace the fear with faith. Do it. Do it. Two, two, two. Twos are about faith and trust. You look up two, two, twos. Two, two, two. Have faith and trust. Whenever you see two, two, two on the cl uh, microwave clock or anywhere on your clock in the car, whatever, it is telling you to bring out your faith and trust in whatever is going on in your life at the moment. Have faith in the situation. Trust that it's going to work out. And it will. That's like manifestation. Anyhow, <clears throat> these are also connected now to this full moon, these two twos. Um, there's a two up there too, and that's connected to the three. There's a lot of uh, one twos and threes. So you still have a ways to go before you meet, get together with uh, soulmate over there. You do. One, twos, and threes. You do have a ten, though. That's good. This is your ultimate goal. Comfortable home life. Here, you just gotta, you just gotta choose. You finally need to make a choice. I mean, we've been talking about this for how long? Do you want to let your fears take over? This full moon gonna gonna do something. Just you wait and see. If this full moon is gonna. This is about making a choice. You have it twice, and it's connected to the full moon. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, something. I mean, those energies are. <laughs> 
you might make a move because you know the sexual energies are high not only are the sexual energies high the rest of your energies are high and you're anxious and you're feeling it and you need you have needs and the full moon is gonna it, they're gonna illuminate your needs all of them so beware Yeah, we already saw this. I saw this card earlier, and um, when I was shuffling, and it was on the bottom, and I almost said something, but I figured I'd shuffle. And anyway, here it is. Um, conflicts, conflicts. Damn it! The full moon is gonna bring conflicts. It sure is. So the full moon is actually July 9th, okay? Um, but the energies are very strong right before. I think they're strongest a day or two before. That's what works best for me. But a lot of people, you know, the day of and, and you know, the day and the day after they feel. Everybody feels differently. We are all different. Um, but it can go through even a few five days to ten days after it all depends on where you are and who you are and all that um, your your uh, aspects in your chart I mean everything it all it, it's all up to you but um, the energies are gonna be high mostly probably be by right about um, I would say July um, 7th 8th 8th and 9th very very high um, and then, um, the seventh is pretty high too. And the tenth is, you know, it's starting to diminish, but then, you know, it's going to go further. It still is. You're still the energies. And then you're going to have some regrets. And a lot of people, like a lot of people in the world are going to have regrets. So that's what's going to happen because it's just, there's, it's a very impulsive energy. Okay. Manipulative fulfilling the power and control that's what that's what this is about it's a very fulfilling okay energy fulfill my needs okay you have the power within you to change any negative situation around you do you have to use your uh, mind body and spirit this is an advice card it's all how you handle the situation. When all this is going down and there's fights going on around you and people are trying to provoke you, go within and pull out your inner self, okay? Your kindness, your love, your gentle nature, whoever you are, okay? Your strength. You have all the resources to get through this without getting hurt. This is again about making a decision, making a final decision. You have to, you can't just pretend that there's no problem anymore. You can't. There is a problem and you can't keep pretending that there is. And you know what the problem is. Perhaps you've been feeling alone for too long and isolated like nobody cares. The only way to get over that is to step outside of your comfort zone. And I mean really step out of your comfort zone. So we'll get a couple of romance cards for you, Sagittarius, and just see what comes up. Yes, I see.
it seems like you're really going to need, especially after all this behavior that's going to happen, all this negative uh, energy, it's going to be overwhelming. You are going to need a retreat. There's, there's no, because you got to make a decision. One of these times, I am going to give you a reading and it's going to say, you made the decision. You took, you got out of your comfort zone and you took that step and, and here, and here it is. And next, one of these cards is going to come up and it's going to say your soulmate has arrived. They're here. But you can't pretend that there's no problem. And the full moon is going to really emphasize that. Because you do have needs. Oh, this is absolutely the truth. It is. Perhaps that's why you're still stuck. Full Moon's going to help you with this, too. You have needs, you just like the children do. Oh, I was going to say this at the beginning of the reading. I was. This is another reason why you're stuck. Because you are afraid. You are afraid that you're going to get rejected. And the thought of being alone again. Oh my God. It so sucks to be alone. Or if you've been alone for so long, then you got to start over if you get rejected. And, you know, your heart can only take so much. I think, I feel like this is definitely an issue. You're stuck because of some, you know, it could be even being alone. You know, you if you're with somebody now and you're not in love with them and you're stuck with them, then you're definitely codependent. Or you could have um, addictions that are holding you back. You're afraid that whoever this is might not like your addictions. You know what I mean? So you're not you're afraid to go there. You're afraid to even go there because you don't want them to see who you are. You don't want them to know the real you. So I think that was a pretty, uh, you know, hopefully the moon isn't getting to my uh, mouth. <laughs> it's a little, you know, where it's only the fourth. So that's why I'm trying to get these readings done now because sometimes I can get a, a little aggressive myself. So, and I am, I'm a Taurus, but my moon is in Capricorn. So it's, uh, so it's very high energy for me. All right. If you have any Capricorn in your chart, it's a higher energy for you. Um, and it's this very dangerous energy. So the best thing to do is to just be kind and do your best. All right. Yeah, the main message of this reading is that you have your needs. You have needs. And, and the moon is going to really... Um, emphasize your needs so good luck um, be careful and um, God bless